Hello everyone, I'm Colleen and today I'm going to be doing my Christmas book haul. It's currently 6am and you know what, I just can't wait to unbox these books. But before that, I will be doing my pre-Christmas haul, like the books that I got after I filmed my previous haul. So let's get started. I now have all the books in the Vampire Academy series thanks to this shop that was closing down and they were selling books for less and they were selling for half price because they were closing. So I got Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Brown, and Last Sacrifice, all by Michelle Mead. So the retail value of it was $8.99 and then they sold it for $5.99 and because it was half price I got it for 3 euros. Also in that shop I got Ballad by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the second book in the Book of Fairies series and the first book is called Lament. And I read Lament and I will link the video that I talked about it which is my November reads. Then I got The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and yes, it's in the movie cover, but come on, Leonardo DiCaprio is pretty beautiful. So we're reading this for school, and yes, I already have another copy of it, but the writing in that one was too small, and this was a little bit better. Also, I bought some Christmas gifts for myself, which were obviously books, and Eason's were having a 3 for 2 offer, and I had to take advantage of it. And because E. Lockhart was having an event there, um, during the summer I read We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, but it was in an ebook, so I got We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, and yes, it is signed personally to me. Ooh, with a bookmark. Um, yeah, it says, Colleen, be a little kinder than you have to, E. Lockhart. That is my favorite quote from We Were Liars, and also she said, P.S. Don't eat yellow snow. I'm kind of confused about that one. I'm not too sure if it's a book reference, so I'm gonna have to reread this, because I've been planning to reread this ever since I finished this book. Also, I got this word perpetual history of Frank Lando. I probably said that word wrong, but yeah, which was recently published here in Britain slash Ireland. And this was like published in 2009 or 2008 in America, but this was just recently published here and I have read it and I will talk to you guys more about that in my December wrap up. But this was also signed and she said, Colleen, don't let anyone underestimate you, XO E. Lockhart. And I really like that too, thanks E. Lockhart. And also I'd like to thank Eason's for having E. Lockhart there. and. It was just so amazing to have met her. She is hilarious and I got to talk to her a little bit more about her books. Because it was a 3 for 2 offer, I obviously had to get A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. And I was about to get Anna and French Kiss but then I saw this and this has been in my TBR for ever since I've known about this book. And it's just so beautiful. I accidentally had a dog ear tail dog ear tail. I accidentally kind of damaged this book. It kind of has a dog ear now, but it's not too bad. The cover is still beautiful and the story is great and I can't wait to read it soon. Then I went back to Easton's because I was going to get We Were Liars signed for my friend and obviously I still had to take advantage of the 3 for 2 offer which I was gonna pick up Anna and French Kiss but it was sold out so I picked up Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and I borrowed Eleanor and Park from a friend and I still haven't read it but I got this one in the pink edition which is pretty but I'm kind of regretting it. I feel like I should have went for the mint because the color was a little bit more unique. I could always find a pink book but not a mint book. So yeah but it's just the cover. It's okay. They're, they'll still have the same content. And so yeah I got this one and We Were Liars which was a second copy. And then for the third one, I got Wonder by RJ Palicio. And this one has the Julian chapter, so I'm excited to read this. It's a contemporary and probably middle grade. After the E. Lockhart event, Isis was so kind enough to have given us a goodie bag with loads of bookmarks and also some books. So I got The Boy in the Smoke, A Shade of London book by Maureen Johnson. And it was for the World Book Day which I accidentally missed because I forgot that it was on and I had a coupon for it and I didn't even get to use it up so I'm glad that I got this from them. Then I got this fangirl 
reading question thing and in the middle it has spoilers and I'm so tempted to read it but maybe after I read Fangirl which hopefully soon and last but not least I got a galley and it's the Ghost Bride by Yans Shu I'm not too sure how to say his name I'm so sorry but reading from the back it's so interesting and I will talk to you guys more about this when I have read this book so it's kind of a little bit more clear to give you guys a synopsis because Yes, it kind of has like a synopsis at the back, but I want to give it to you guys like a little bit more accurately. So those were the books that I got before Christmas and now it's time for the unboxing. So I've only got like four books, but this is my first time ordering from the book depository and I hope I end up getting at least one bookmark. So yeah, I guess we'll start with these ones because I'm saving this one for last because, come on, it's, it has a tabby thingy, so yeah. So I'm not too sure what's in here, but I'm excited. I'll... Okay. Whoa. I got a bookmark. Oh my gosh, it's a Nell bookmark. Oh my god. I've seen a lot of people with this thing and I always thought that was beautiful. But the book that was in there was Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. This is the second book in the Throne of Glass series. I finally own my own copy of Crown of Midnight. I just borrowed a copy of it from the library, which is why I didn't have a copy of it signed by Sarah J Maas. So, second package. Oh my gosh, I am like shaking. I know what's in here, I think. but. <clears throat> I hope it's the same size as my other books. It's the third in the series, so... Oh my god. Oh no! I didn't get a bookmark. That's sad. I unfortunately didn't get a bookmark for my second unboxing, but the book that was inside there was The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. And um, I'm so happy because it's actually the same height and size of my two previous books. So I'm happy about that, even though I didn't get a bookmark, so yeah. So I guess we're down to the very last unboxing and where's that tab? I know there's an easier way to open it, but I, I just really, really want to open it this way, the hard way. And this is my only one that I got, so let's, I hope I'll be able to do it in one try. So, ready? One, two, three. Oh, it's harder than I thought. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, I hope this has a bookmark. It has a bookmark. Um, it says, we can never, you can never get a cup of coffee. What? I can't read well. I don't have my glasses. Okay, let me, let me put on my glasses. So it says, you can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me by C.S. Lewis. So, yay! And the book that had that bookmark was Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful book and it's kind of flimsy, so... I'm happy about that and has a really nice feel to it. Wow. It's kind of shiny too. I don't know if you can tell, but oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Oh, it has some scratches though. I'm not, mm, I don't know if you can tell, but like it has some scratches, so I don't know. And there's a little bit of dirt, I guess. I, I can't rub it off, but it was, I don't know. Should I complain about this or what? I don't know. It's still beautiful, so yeah. And last but not least, I got The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutowski. Is that- am I saying it right? But it's beautiful too. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to read this book because I got an e-arc from NetGalley and um, I'm excited to read both of those books. Basically, I'm excited to read all the books that I got because why would I get them if I wasn't excited to read them? Yeah, this is all the pile that I have made. That's kind of a lot, so I'm gonna have to clean it up soon, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Comment down whatever you want and I will see you in my next one. And I hope you guys are having a really great winter break. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!